Hello there, I'm Jorge Chacón and I had an amazing experience this summer in the first San Adam field course at Rancho San Bernardino near Agua Prieta, Sonora. I was one of the facilitators during the field course. Let me tell you a little about it. It was a week-long learning experience designed to train and inspire the next generation of environmental leaders of the Sky Island. We visited a lot of places and landscapes with beautiful and healthy rivers, a huge diversity of plants, birds, fungus, and many animal tracks. We learned lots and lots from each other and together enjoyed all the mud, dirt, rain, and fresh air. We had the chance to expand and strengthen our knowledge on the different components of this course, such as humanitarian aid, cross-border migration, restorative economy, watershed restoration, native plants and seeds, among others. Throughout the course, we met many collaborators across the borderlands who worked to enhance equality, inclusion, and fairness to all the communities on both sides of the border, as well as healthy ecosystems. We visited Café Justo and saw the coffee production process and how they implement the restorative economy and social justice into their business, as well as Frontera de Cristo, who works for the hard task of assisting migrants in the borderlands. Cuenca Los Ojos and their amazing staff hosted us. We camped at the Rancho San Bernardino and traveled to various locations from this base camp. There, we learn about the history of the place, grassland management, and how rock structures called gabions help prevent erosion. They taught us how to build them too. Through activities like making poems, haikus and tales with Perry McNally, we explore the connections of art and ecology. In addition, we had the opportunity to paint a mural in Central Agua Prieta that portrays the regional native plants. We worked with three amazing artists from Border Arts Corridor to complete this beautiful mural. Rosalinda, a Dugula Prieta Trabaja, showed us their greenhouse and their amazing permaculture garden where they grow lots and lots of vegetables and fruits with their community. With the Borderland staff, we learned a lot about the Native Plants and Seeds program too, how the nursery in Patagonia works and the whole process of producing plants from collecting seeds, giving them different treatments, etc., to transplanting agaves and identifying plants through hikes. All the collaborators helped us to understand cross-border migration phenomena and how the border wall impacts us all in different ways, to animals, plants, landscapes, and communities. By the end of the week, our group had achieved a wider perspective as conservationists. It was so impressive for all of us to see how binational collaboration and community work are capable of such positive impacts in the borderlands. Everything we learned throughout the week helped us to open our eyes and minds to binational collaboration and the need to make our communities part of our future projects. Each participant was required to create a project to graduate and all the projects we developed during the week are based on those great ideas they shared with us. Several months have passed since we graduated and we are still very grateful to everyone who made this possible. We have also been working hard to implement ecological restoration in our home community. Thanks for watching and see you next year.